Hey everyone, welcome to Career Bolt. I'm Vinod and I work as adjunct professor at IIT Palakkad. So one of the questions I get from students is, if software engineering is in such a high demand, why is it so hard to get software engineering jobs? This answer is a bit complicated, so I'm going to talk about maybe seven to eight reasons why things are the way they are. By the way, I've worked in recruiting for almost uh, about 15 years, so I have a good sense of what's happening in industry. Number one point I want to say is that there are always jobs out there, especially in computer science. So there's no dearth of jobs. It's just that the compensation you ask may not be what the companies have to offer. Point number one, the easiest way for you to find computer science jobs is to decrease your compensation expectations. So, for example, when you begin your career, if you are ready to ask for a compensation which is a, maybe 1 lakh or 2 lakhs lesser than what you are looking for and you are ready to accept an offer which is probably on the lower end, what's more important is you are going to pick up skills on this job and as you gain years of work experience, you will become a lot more valuable in the marketplace. So quickly, within one or two years of work experience, you can command whatever compensation you require in the market. And at the same time, you're not going to be sitting at home because you're not found a job. So highly encourage everyone to take whatever job they get, not focus too much on compensation. So second point I would want to say is that some sort of work experience is absolutely required for companies. The reason is what you do on your laptops, the coding you do on your laptops, the competitive coding you're doing is very very different from production code. The code you write in companies have to have a lot of annotations, a lot of comments, a lot of structure and it has to be done in a very specific way and most people who don't understand production code, especially people coming straight from industry, face a lot of struggle and even companies struggle to train them and get them up to speed. So some amount of work experience will at least help students understand that there are some difference in expectations between what they have to offer and what companies want. So work experience is absolutely essential. If you don't have work experience, at least try to get some internship experience because even in internship, there's a lot you can learn. Some students don't do even internships and I think that's where the problem begins because internship is a great way to flag your potential to a recruiter. The other piece of doing an internship is that when you're applying to companies, there's already a pre-selection of students happening during the time of internship. So the best companies get to pick the best students. The students who are not that strong get picked up by other companies. So looking at where you did your internship, it's easier for a recruiter who's looking for a full-time job to also slot you in terms of are you skilled, not skilled. Interviews are not always perfect. So where you do an internship can be a good proxy for what is your caliber and what do you bring to the table. So try to find experiences. Preferably do internships and do it in good companies if possible. But even if you do not get into great companies, it's okay because if you're going to learn a lot of stuff, that's fine. You can be a big learner in computer science and change skills in one or two years. So be open to gaining experience. I already talked about the fact that production code is very different from what you do on your laptop. So again, understand what is production code and try to get your hands dirty. One easy example for where a way for you to develop skills is try to volunteer for companies like startups where you get to work on actual production code and uh, they will give you a chance to work on actual code. For example, if you say, I don't want to get paid, but I'm ready to work for free, you'll get a chance to work on very key important projects where your learning is going to be very high. So try to get involved in those projects where you tend to learn a lot and you can use that as good experience during your time of searching for a job. So focus not just on internships but also kind of quality of work and you can get higher quality work sometimes by working for free for startups okay that's an easy way to gain experience point number four is that it is not just about technical skills but it's also about the business skills and people skills you bring to the table for example if you're going to work in a team in a company you got to have excellent communication skills you got to have excellent team skills and these are things which are in very short supply in most students. So that's why students struggle to find a job. So if you want to be in a situation where you want to really get a job, remember that it's not just about your technical skills and coding skills, but it's also about can you work in a team? Can the software manager believe that you will get work done and do it in a way where you involve others into the decision-making process? You 
are a cooperative person, you work closely in a team, you're good in communication and so on. Nobody wants a super brilliant student who cannot work in a team. Nobody wants that sort of person. So try to be a person who is good in terms of interpersonal skills. And this is something you can also develop over time. So make sure that when you're working on projects, open up, be a team player and have solid communication skills that can only help you during an interview process. One easy way for you to gain some experience is also to work on open source projects. And if sometimes if you have done open source projects, it means that you're willing to commit your time and effort uh, for no immediate rewards. And a lot of fantastic software engineers tend to work on open source projects. So if you have an open source project, somebody has already done an open source project uh, themselves, they're going to definitely identify with you and also bond with you much closely. So this sort of experience can go a long way in terms of telling a recruiter that you are worth investing in. Also remember that a software engineer careers goes in ups and downs. It goes in cycles and busts. So right now it's not a great time to be searching for a job, but this will also pass after some time things will get better. So yes, it's difficult to get a software engineering job right now. That's because of a lot of macroeconomic factors. But remember that if it goes down, it will rise up again. So this is not something set in stone. It will get better in the future. In terms of student caliber, maybe the seventh point from my end is that you have to hit a certain caliber when it comes to coding and understanding how software engineering and coding works. And pretty much you have to hit, you have to spend a lot of time coding to pick up these skills. What I recommend is there is a thumb rule which says that if you spend 10,000 hours in a job, you're going to get better at it. This is something I really recommend to students that if you want to be in software engineering, hit, uh, spend as much time on software engineering during your, and coding during your weekends, whenever you have free time. When I went to some schools, I've seen people working on the weekends, spending around 12 to 14 hours coding. And this is happening in the non-IITs. So even IIT students cannot relax. They also need to work hard because others are trying to catch up very quickly. So even if you don't hit 10,000 hours of coding, spend as much time coding because over maybe four years or six years, you will get to 10,000 hours if you spend enough time. So the earlier you begin in college, the better it is going to be for you. The fact that you're spending more and more time on coding every day also gets you closer to the destination. So keep coding and don't give up. Be on lead code, be on neat code, be on hacker rank, practice and uh, don't stop. The more and more you practice, the better you become. Okay, folks, so hopefully some of these tips was useful to you in terms of understanding what's happening in software engineering jobs and how you can better prepare for it. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below and make sure you follow the bell icon so that whenever I pass on a video, it comes to you as fast as possible. Till next time, bye-bye.